Hey guys, it's your girl Happiness to Guto here. Welcome back to another Shopify tutorial. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to set up your Shopify policies in your store. So basically, these are going to be your fund, privacy, terms of service and shipping policies setting up these policies in your store correctly is very important if you messed up with even a little bit of detail it will lead to some confusion to you as well as to your customers and in other way it will make your business be in trouble because of different policies okay so i'll show you how to install them in your store so it is really good to have them set up correctly and put the right information on each section so before jumping into this tutorial please don't forget to smash the like button and let me know what you think about today's tutorial subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so and yeah let's jump in today's tutorial so now we are on our shopify admin page we'll go ahead and start creating our store policy now we're going ahead and click settings and now we are going to look for legal and this is legal so we are going to click that and this is how the Lugo pages is going to look like. So basically we have refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, and shipping policy. And now we are going to start and filling all these boxes. And the easiest way to do this is just to hit this box right over here that says create from templates. Okay, so I'm going to click create from templates. So this is Shopify template that they have created it already. Shopify can make it easy for its customers, uh, just like me and you right here that we are going to create our store policies. And pretty much it will go ahead and add some of your information from your store that you put way before when you started creating your store. For example, you can see here you'll, you'll find your email address as you can see this is my business address and in some cases you might see your store addresses is listed in here as well so you have to be careful if you have a home address listed on your store because you really don't want to want people to know where you live because that won't be safe for you i would say that so this is the refund policy so pretty much you can go ahead and read what it actually says you can go ahead and add more information if you want and also edit some other information that they really don't apply to your business okay as you can see here um like this template it's saying we have a 30 days return policy which means you have 30 days after receiving your items to request a return some of the businesses they only have like let's say like 20 days return policy so if that's you you can go ahead and just edit and edit the days but if you think that's what you want, you can go ahead and leave it just like that. But make sure you go ahead and read throughout and delete some of the information you don't want and leave what you want. Or you can add more. Now, we are going to the privacy policy. Pretty much, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to click create from template. And make sure you're going through, as I told you before, go through every information and see if all these informations applies to you if they are not then go ahead and delete them um okay and you can also see like some words like like the one that have capital letters on the brackets pretty much this is where you can go ahead and add more information or if you don't want to add more information you can just go ahead and delete them um so yeah pretty much that's what you're going to do uh, make sure you're reading throughout and um, add more information if you like or delete some of the information. Even though Shopify is going to make things easy for you, make sure you're reading throughout everything just to make sure everything is going to make sense with your stuff. Because other information, they won't really make sense with what you're going to sell or what kind of service you're going to offer to your customers. So don't relax. Just go ahead and read 
everything and delete some of the information and that's it for privacy policy and and now we are going to the terms of service we'll go ahead and click create from templates and pretty much everything will be right over here don't forget to go over read everything edit informations and stuff like that and now the last part is for the shipping policy so on this policy pretty much Shopify didn't put um, a template for you so you'll just go ahead and add what you actually want okay you can go ahead and add as many information as you want you can go ahead and tell your customers tell your customers how long how long does it take to uh to process your shipments so you can go ahead and type as much information as you want and once you're satisfied with everything uh now you can go ahead and click save so after clicking save, all your refund policy, your privacy policy, terms of service, as well as shipping policy, they will be added automatically on your pages. Now let's go back to our online store and I'll show you how to add all your policy on the footer menu. So we'll go ahead and click online store. then you'll come right over here and click navigation and now we are going to edit our footer menu so you'll click that and this is the title for your footer menu if you want to edit you can go ahead and edit but if you want it to be like that you can just leave it like that okay and then now we are going to add our policies by clicking by clicking this plus sign right over here so I'm going to click that and now I am going to add the links so pretty much click right over here on this box that says search or paste a link so right over there and then I'll go down and click policies then I'll start picking one by one so I'll start by picking a uh, refund policy and then click add right over here and refund policy will appear right over here and then I'm going to add all the policies just like how I did that go policy okay uh, now I'm going to do the privacy and click add and then I'm going to add another one policies and I'm um, shipping Add, add another one and uh, policies and now we have terms of service and add okay and this is how you add your policies so let's say you don't like the way they are being arranged you can actually move them around by you see just tap these signs right over here on the sides click it and move it okay so let's say you want privacy policy to be the first one so you just drag it up and you want shipping policy to be up you can just click that and drag it up okay so this is how you add your pages on the footer menu once you're done you can go ahead and click save now let's say you want to add an additional page for example let's say right now since because there is covid so you need to add like a healthy prevention page and talk about what are the things that you're going to do to ensure your customers they're going to be safe pretty much this is how you're going to add pages so you'll go ahead and click online store if you're not on the if let's say you were on the home page so to add a new page, you'll click online store and then click pages. And this is how it is going to look like. And this is only if you haven't added any page before on your store. Like me, my store is pretty brand new right here. So I don't have any pages. But if you created pages before, they'll all appear right over here. So since I don't have any, I am going to click add page and this is how the page is going to look like. So pretty much go ahead and click this title box and add your title, like what you want to write 
on this page. So let's say COVID-19 uh, policy. Oh, let's say COVID-19 prevention. Prevention. And then you can go ahead and type what you want to tell your customer. What you want to tell your customers. Okay. And once you're done, you can go ahead and choose if you want it to be available right now on your website or you want it to be hidden or you want it to be visible. So you can go ahead and pick what you want. After that, you can go ahead and click save. So pretty much this is how you create a page. And then when you're done creating your page, now we'll go back to navigations and add it to the footer menu. So I'll click footer menu and then go right over here, add menu items and click right over here. And now instead of clicking policies, we are going to click pages. So I'll click pages and my page will be right over here. So I'll click COVID-19 prevention and then add the page. And now my new page will be available right over here on the footer menu. After that, I'm going to click save menu. So yeah, guys, this is how you add your privacy, refund and shipping policies, as well as terms of service and many more other pages. Okay, and yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please go ahead and let me know down below on the comment section. If you haven't subscribed on my channel, please go ahead and subscribe for more Shopify tutorials. And I'll see you guys on the next video.